Hi, this is Steve from Mission Bell Communications. In this video, I'm going to be looking at a couple of pieces of photo editing software that I use on a regular basis. So I'm a web designer, and one of the things that I often get from clients are poor quality images. And so I have to do a lot of photo retouching. Now, one of the most common things I'll get are low resolution images. So, um, you know, there are some new softwares that take advantage of AI in order to resize images. So I have a couple of them on my system and I thought we'd do a head to head test. So um, I've done some videos before on Luminar Neo uh, and last year they came out with a resize option. Um, anyway, I'm going to try and resize this image. So actually I'm going to start off in Photoshop here uh, and I have the, the original image here and I am going to export this at uh, 300 by 300 pixels. And we'll just call this one 300. All right, and now I'm going to go to uh, Luminar Neo and my catalog here and let's import the 300 pixel version. Here it is right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, actually I'm going to go to my catalog here, and you can see here I've got this upscale. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this on upscale, and I'm going to say I want to go to 400, which will be 1200 by 1200, and I'm going to hit upscale. And then I'm going to export that. So 300 upscale Luminar. All right. Next, I'm going to open Topaz Gigapixel, and I'm going to take that same 300, and I'm going to do a 4x on that one. And then I am going to hit save, and we'll call that one... 300 uh, upscaled gigapixel. Okay. And now I am going to open Photoshop back up and I'm actually going to um, I'm going to actually export this. No, I think I've already got this. All right, so let's just do this. Let's go Photoshop, File. Uh, is it Script? And load into a stack. So now I need to grab my... Uh, my two open files here and okay so let's um let's move in a little closer here and you can see right now i am seeing the gigapixel version and i am seeing right there the luminar neo version uh perhaps i should also um put in the 300 version um, uh, and we'll, we'll bump that up here so that Fills the screen here, and uh, we should look at the original. Um, okay, so let's do a little comparison, shall we? Um, Okay, so here's the 
the original version and then you can see if I go with the 300 one we have quite a bit of artifacting you know this is what we would typically see when we blow up a low resolution image if I look here at the gigapixel version what I'm seeing is I'm seeing some interesting smoothing it almost looks like one of those oil painting filters um, but if I compare the detail that's lost can see it is reclaiming some detail uh like especially i see down here on this seam it may not be accurate but it's it is reclaiming it uh if i look though at the luminar version it's looking like i just run a sharpen on it and i'm still seeing it's not great like especially if you look at the eyes here uh it does this almost looks like I've got, I've got an oil slick going on these leds, which is weird, but um, I guess this one really doesn't look any better. Uh, the original, well, the original has it too, so don't know what happened there. But anyway, uh, so in looking at these, I think the Gigapixel, while this does have a bit of a stylized look to it, I do, do think it does come up with a much better result. Um, so... I kind of like the the resize from Gigapixel a whole lot better than the resize from Luminar. Now that said, uh, I don't think Luminar is um, you know useless or anything like that. I think that Luminar's uh, resize is not as good. But um, if I were going to take this image, I would actually have retouched it using some of the photo retouching from Luminar before actually uh, manipulating it further because we could do a lot with it to make it better. But anyway. That's a little head-to-head -head comparison, and I hope you find that helpful.